Right, let's start off by going straight to the Rafa border. These are live visuals coming in from the Rafa border, which has actually been opened for the first time since the war broke out between Israel and Hamas. And this has been opened for evacuation purposes solely. And this is significant because the first foreign officials are being allowed to evacuate from Gaza for Egypt today. Reports are telling us that Qatar has mediated an agreement between Egypt, Israel and Hamas in coordination with the United States to allow for the movement of foreign passport holders. I repeat, only foreign passport holders along with those who are critically injured out of Gaza as of now. For all the viewers who are tuning into Beyond World as one at this hour, these are live visuals coming in from the Rafa border. As we can see, an agreement has been achieved by Qatar in coordination with the United States between Egypt, Israel and Hamas to allow some limited evacuations from Gaza. The agreement will allow foreign passport holders and those who are critically injured to leave through this Rafah border crossing between Egypt and Gaza. It is unclear as of now for how long this evacuation will continue, for how long this crucial crossing between Egypt and Gaza will remain open. Reports are also telling us that Egypt for now is preparing to treat dozens of wounded Palestinians from Gaza as expectations are rising that the enclave's only crossing, which is not controlled by Israel, will open up and allow foreign passport holders and those who are critically injured to leave Gaza for treatment and head to Egypt. Reports also tell us that the border authority in Gaza has said that Egypt has agreed to let in 81 of those who are most badly wounded. And this is after the war broke out between Israel and Hamas and a lot of the injuries are in besieged Gaza. This includes children and the elderly. The strikes on Gaza, of course, began after the 7th October attack in which Hamas militants entered southern Israel, killing 1,400 people. For now, the Rafah border crossing has been opened to allow for evacuations of foreign passport holders and those who are critically wounded. They are likely to be taken in by Egypt for medical treatment as Israeli strikes continue to pound Gaza. For all our viewers tuning in right now, limited evacuations are being allowed. It is unclear how long the Rafah border will remain open. This has followed a mediation by Qatar and the United States between Egypt, Israel and Hamas. And this agreement will allow foreign passport holders and some critically injured people to leave through the Rafah border crossing between Egypt and Gaza. But we don't know for how long this Rafa border crossing will remain open. What we do know right now is that foreign passport holders, along with those who are severely injured, critically wounded people, will be allowed to seek treatment in Egypt. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.